When you don't fit in, it could be a very painful reality because you're placed in this matrix and you just know that this is not it. You just know that you can't conform to the mindset that the majority have been programmed to have. But you're put in a situation where you're surrounded by family, friends, influencers in your life, authorities, who are all telling you this is what it's supposed to be. However, on side on inside of you, what you feel your energy is saying, this is not what it's supposed to be. I will never be that. I will never do that. I will never think that. Because it's insulting to who I am at a soul level. I don't know why. I would love to um, fit in so that you can approve of me. I would love to come and you not reject me. I would love to be dealt with the way that you deal with everybody else. But I have to be true to who I am. And if being true to who I am causes your rejection of me because it doesn't meet your approval or your concept or your idea or your thoughts or your perspective or your opinion about who I am or who I should be, then I have to make a choice and I either have to choose you or I have to choose myself. That's normally the story of those that are known as black sheep. We don't fit in, no matter what. We try. <laughs> we jump through hoops many times. I know I did. Trying to do everything that I could just to be accepted by those that I cared about the most. Now, I'm not going to say that I am was perfect at any point. I've gone through my situations. But when I look deeper inside, the reason why I went through so many situations where it was different, very adverse, very controversial, always looking as if I was the mess up, no matter what the situation was. If I tried to help people and things didn't work out, I was the mess up. If I helped people and things did work out, the very next time, if I didn't agree to do the same thing or if I got tired eventually of jumping through hoops, then I was the mess up for that. So it's a situation where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't and you have to choose Who you gonna bet on? Black sheep, my black sheep, listen. You are the Moses of your family. You are here to help shift the consciousness within your realm. This is why you don't fit in. This is why everybody is one way, you are another. This is why you're not supported. This is why you're not shown favoritism. Because you're here to change the consciousness and change is uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable, black sheep. It's not a negative that you don't fit in. It is an absolute positive that you are chosen to not fit in. It is the highest compliment that you could receive from the matrix is that the matrix don't want you. The matrix don't like you. The matrix does not agree with who you are because it cannot power you down. 
So it's a very high compliment to be a black sheep, to not be embraced, to not be accepted, to be rejected. And on the flip side, those are also seeds within you that you have to make sure don't take root because there could also be people that come to help you, but you have been used to dealing with so much rejection that you don't even allow yourself to get the help. You may stop wanting to ask for help at some point. You may change and you know decide that you got to prove something. You don't have to prove anything. The only person that you owe to prove something to is yourself because you're here for a higher purpose. You chose to be here and rejection of the matrix is really your protection. It's for your protection. It's for your protection. So don't take on the victim mindset of being, you know, woe is me because nobody supports me. Nobody will help me. Nobody will, you know, nobody sees me. Nobody understands me, you know, because that's very easy to do. I did it and it helped me back for a long time. And because I continually replayed that narrative, that narrative continually manifested. So I, I was complaining and feeling victimized about being rejected and having such a different situation going on and how my life was totally different than everybody else's and how they appeared to have it easy and how they appeared to have support and I didn't. And I was doing things that were just imp as important as they were. In fact, I was trying to make sure everybody win, not just my little circle. You can't take that on. You're here to do what you're here to do. You don't fit in, period. That's a stamp from the most high. You don't fit in, that's a stamp from the most high. That is a stamp letting you know that I've set you apart, I've set you aside for a specific purpose and I'm gonna make sure that you're untouchable because I'm going to make sure that nobody wants to touch you. <laughs> you understand? I'm going to dig deeper into this topic and deal with my black sheeps at a later time. But I just wanted to come through and drop this for you. Because nine times out of ten, if you're listening to this, you attracted this into your reality because it was something that you needed to hear at this particular time to help you to snap out of it. We don't have no time. We are the Moseses of our family. We are the Moseses of this earth. And we are here to change the narrative. So that's what we need to focus on doing and stop trying to understand why people don't look at us the way that we see ourselves. We know that we have good intentions. But yet, no matter what we do, it seems to be misconstrued. Why? Because people are judging us based on who they are. They're not judging us based on who we are. Because guess what? We are shrouded. So they don't even know who we are. So they will continually try to make us be or want us to be who they want us to be and who they're comfortable with because who we are reminds them of so many things disturb so many things within them they don't want to be disrupted every soul has its own individual alarm clock and it will go off on its own designated time if some of our people are still in denial they'll eventually wake up but right now they're not helpful they're not they they can't truly love you on the level that is not based on conditions because they are conditioned to love you for being a specific purpose i mean specific person with a specific purpose in their life 
And if you have something outside of that realm that they don't understand, they don't have the ability to embrace it. So it's okay. We are black sheep. We're going to continue to elevate our vibration. We are going to continue to change the narrative. We are going to continue to think different. We are going to continue to evolve. We are going to continue to be trendsetters. We are going to continue to change the game. How are we going to do that? By tapping in, accepting ourselves, and navigating based on the fact that we have extreme favor on our lives. We are here to do a job. When we do our job and our job is over, we will be leaving, going back home. All right? I love you. Peace.